everyone, today I'm going to teach you how to take a cut chart and make rectangles to put right onto your pattern piece. Just like the example below, I have them all uh, layered in different uh, layers um, so we can turn them on and off once we, so you can see that they are in each individual layer. I'm just going to start turning off some of the layers and you can see them disappearing. Um, but they're all included in the different layers so that when we go to cut this pattern, we can just select the layer that we want and everything from your cut chart will now be on your pattern. So let's get started. Okay, I've opened up my pattern and I've just pulled the, the layer tab out. You can just pull it right out from there. Um, and I've pulled it out just so I can see it all because we will be working in the layers. I've turned off the grid calibration layer. That's we don't need that um, for what we're doing. What we're going to go ahead and start with is we're going to select the layer that we want to draw a rectangle in. The rectangle tool is on the left toolbar. We're going to take a rectangle and draw a rectangle. I don't want to fill it, so we can come over to the fill and push don't fill. And then the stroke, I leave it the same color. You can change the color if you want. Um, you can also come over to um, where we are here and go to stroke and I like to change it to about four points on there and I haven't done that yet where I change the units of measurement you can right click in this corner and change the units of measurement the next thing you want to do is pull up the cut chart so we know what size we want each of these rectangles to be so let me go ahead and get that pulled up Okay, just so it was a little bit easier to see, I went and took a screenshot of the cut chart and I just go ahead and pasted it right here into a fitness designer. I could leave it in the pattern or I could take it out layer later. Um, right now it's in my newborn layer, so I could probably, probably will want to move that. Um, but now I can see that I'm going to make the button straps here is what I'm making. Um, are the button straps for this purpose here. Okay, so the button strap here for the newborn size is 14 and a half by three and a quarter inches. I select that square and I'm gonna come down to the transform box where we have our width and our height. The width is three and a quarter. You have to put it in decimal form. So it's 3.25 and then the length is four and a half. So 14 and a half. Now I've gone ahead and it's the exact height that it is. I have it in my newborn layer, which is great. I can move it anywhere. It doesn't really matter right now. Then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on my new layer. Okay, so we're going to be working in the three month size here. So the three month is 15 by, I'm just going to draw a rectangle here, 15 by three and a quarter. So type in three and a quarter for the width and the height for 15. Okay, and it's okay that they're not lined up yet. We will we can do that at the very end. I'm just going to go ahead and get all the rectangles drawn in all the way to four, and then I'll come back and show you how we go ahead and do that. Again, just click on the layer, grab your rectangle tool, draw your rectangle, put in the height that you need. The button straps for the six month is three and a quarter by 15 and a half. Okay. Okay, I've drawn all of the button strap pieces that say to cut two. They're all here. My rectangles are kind of all over the place. They're not aligned, but they are in the layers. You can see if I start turning off layers, you can see um, those rectangles. Sorry, I didn't click the whole layer here. Uh, you can see them starting to disappear on there. So let me go ahead and click those all back on. And what you're going to do is make sure you have your select tool, which is the arrow tool, select um, those all of those rectangles. Let's see here. Let me come down here and let me scroll out just a little bit so I can make sure I get them all selected. And now we're going to align. We're going to align it to the top and to the left. You can align it any way that you want. But now you can see, oh, it's looking nice and neat. Um, everything is aligned 
just like you would see on a normal pattern, all those button straps. Well, we need to go ahead and get that labeled. Um, I'm going to come over to the layer that is the labels. So right here it says, do not uncheck. These are the labels. And I'm gonna draw a text box in here. And I'm gonna say these are the button straps and the directions which are to cut to. It's really small as it is, but we can make that a lot bigger. You just come up, highlight, and select the text as big as you want um, on there. And there you go. You're all finished creating um, a pattern piece for the cut chart. You can repeat that for anything else that is on the cut chart in the same process. If you have any questions, shoot them below in the video. Um, and ha hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Happy sewing.